Welcome everybody to another video of Ancient Greece Reloaded. Today we will talk about the famous King Egyptus and the story of the 50th Anaids. By the way, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so to stay tuned for upcoming videos. Egyptus was a legendary king of Greek mythology, though not a king of ancient Greece, for Egyptus was originally the king of Arabia before expanding his territory into North Africa. Egyptus was a descendant of Io, the Naid beloved by Zeus, who having been turned into a heifer, had wandered the earth before she arrived in North Africa. Several generations later, Io's great-grandson Belus ruled North Africa, and having found a partner in the form of a heroe, the Naid daughter of Nilus, Belus would become father to two twin sons, Danaus and Egyptus. Belus would divide his kingdom between his two sons, and Danaus became king of the land known as Livia, whilst Egyptus became king of Arabia. Danaus is famous for being the father of 50 daughters, and similarly Egyptus would become a father of 50, this time 50 sons. Some sources claim that these sons were born to a single woman, Eriroe, the naive daughter of Nilus, though it was more common to attribute the birth of Egyptus' sons to multiple women. This being an Arabian princess called Argifia, a Naid named Kaliadne, a woman called Iria, one called Gorgo, another called Hephaestine, and also an unnamed Phoenician woman. Egyptus was a king who was not content with his lot, and he expanded his kingdom westwards, conquering the land of the Melambodes, and then renaming this land Egypt after himself. Egyptus' brother Danaus then feared for his own kingdom, for would Egyptus stop traveling west? Believing that he would not, the Naus constructed a ship on which he and his daughters departed Libya, and on a journey that would ultimately see them end up in Argos. Egyptus wanted his sons to marry the daughters of the Naus, and so Egyptus dispatched them to Greece, whilst Egyptus presumably remained in Libya, for he was known the king of the whole of North Africa and Arabia. The sons of Egyptus caught up with the Naus and the Naids in Argos, and there they demanded that they be wed to their cousins. The Naus had no option but to agree, but it would not prove to be a happy wedding day and night for the sons of Egyptus, for the Naus told his daughters that they must kill their husbands. All the Danaids did as the father ordered, all that was aside from Hypnemistra who spared her husband in chaos. What happened to Egyptus is not made clear, but a myth about the death of Egyptus can be taken from Pafsania's description of Greece, for he relates that the tomb of Egyptus was to be found in one of sanctuaries of Serapis in Aroe. It was said that Egyptus had followed after his sons, but when he found that they had been murdered, he fled to Patre, where he perhaps died of grief. Alternative version When Egyptus and his sons arrived to take the Danaids, the Naurus relinquished them, to spare the Argives the pain of battle. However, he instructed his daughters to kill their husbands on the wedding night. Forty-nine followed through, but one, Ipermnistra, greatly wooed, refused because her husband, Lynceus, the lynxman, honored her wish to remain a virgin. Danaus was angry with his disobedient daughter and threw her to the Argive courts. Aphrodite intervened and saved her. Lynceus and Ipermnistra founded the lineage of Argive kings, a Danaid dynasty. In some versions, Lynceus later slew Danaus as revenge for the death of his brothers, and the Danaids were punished in the underworld by being forced to carry water through a jug with holes, or a sieve, so that the water always leaked out. The story of Danaus and his daughters, and the reason for their flight from marriage, provided the theme of Aeschylus the suppliance. Let us finish with the following saying. The wolf will be blamed either guilty or not guilty. Ancient Greek proverb. That being said, remember guys to hit the like button and to subscribe to our channel, it would help us a lot. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.